Well, in Klein ISD, we have a long tradition of excellence and innovation. So I can't imagine a strategic plan in our district that would not have an emphasis on innovation. It's part of what's made us so great for so long. However, in this moment, as we were putting together our strategic framework, one of the things that really came from the community, from our students who are sitting at the design table with us, and from our leaders and teachers, was that it was important to make sure we kept our focus on innovation because innovation is what keeps these strategic priorities relevant, meaningful, adaptable, versatile to a world that is always changing, to conditions that are always changing. And so this time, the commitment to innovation was really about thinking of the world that we're in, how rapidly things continue to evolve, and wanting to make sure that the excellent education that we provide our students is relevant and applicable to the world we're preparing them for. I'll never forget, uh, this was probably after about three of our sessions together as a strategic planning team, when our students came in and really started to evaluate some of the ideas and some of the things that we were planning for the future, and how much what we had worked on changed because of the voice and the perspective and the wisdom and expertise as learners that they brought to the table. So probably some of my favorite me moments and memories from that entire process is when our students came and really brought the plan to life. So proud of Klein ISD for, for offering these innovation challenges to students because it allows them to use design thinking within their curriculum and their teachers can guide their processes. So by the time they are moving through the next grade, moving into the next group of grades, they're able to use critical thinking skills at a, at a really high level in order to help them move towards their educational goals. So design thinking begins with empathy. It's always about understanding the end user. And so one of the things that we've seen happen as a result of these innovation challenges is that our learners are increasingly aware, increasingly tuned into what somebody else's experience might be like. And that could be what it might be like to live through the devastating impact of a flood. That might be what it might be like if you need access to medical care and you can't receive it. That might be what it feels like to be living through a pandemic and thinking about how you can leverage your voice to help people do the things that keep us all healthy and safe. And so what the Innovation Challenge has helped us really drive deep into the culture of the classroom in Klein ISD is the idea that design things Thinking starts with empathy. Channel 2 News begins right now with a severe weather alert. And we are back with coverage of our flood catastrophe. People are still stranded in neighborhoods at this hour. Rescues happening nearly every minute. Families, children, pets saved from the rising floodwaters. Images that range from heartbreaking to uplifting. If I close my eyes and I think about when Harvey hit our client community, and I remember being in one of our buildings, which we had converted to a shelter for people all over the greater Houston area. And when I think about the way that our community initially rallied around these folks, whether they lived in our client community or not, because again, people were being brought to these shelters from across the greater Houston area. I think about that initial response. And then when I think about what happened with Water Warriors, where then not only was it a community act of care and service, but then our learners started to marry up their curriculum with really solving problems that had directly impacted people they knew, uh, something they hadn't just seen on the news someplace very far away, but something they had experienced on their own street or in a school down the road. What we saw was that students were able to switch from just focusing on the problem to thinking about how they might prevent such problems from ever occurring again in the future. And so that spirit of service became not just the physical hands and feet of getting in a shelter and passing out clothes and making sure that people had a safe place to sleep and food to eat, but it also became an intellectual exercise of how can I make sure that I use the gifts, talents, and abilities that I have to serve the world that I'm a part of.
So the first innovation challenge, Water Warriors, was completely energizing. If I had to use a word to describe what that day felt like, uh, the day of design, even though the challenge went on for several weeks, but that day of design, when community members were in the room, when all learners of all different ages were in the room together, when we had experts from architecture firms and engineering firms and the local flood control, combining all of that with the very deep and personal experience that our students had as a result of Hurricane Harvey when we lost an entire school, when many of our families had their homes flooded and lost many, many things, where we operated a shelter out of the very room that months later we held that day of design. Wow. Uh, what we saw in those moments was what was possible for the future of education. I'm here at Day of Design Klein Water Warriors. This is an amazing place to be today. We have over 250 teams of students, almost 2,000 kids that are here at K MPC and the Teaching and Learning Center, and we have nearly a hundred industry partners who have come out today from their offices and where they normally spend their time to work with our students on how to build a prototype of a flood barrier that could protect you from flooding. Inflatable wall that goes around, and if you see this, this foam would be um, AGM, which is the stuff that's in diapers, and it would absorb it if the water ever got over the wall. Hello, my name is David and I'm a student at Klein High School. Innovation challenges like these are what makes Klein IC a top tier district. Let's go see what some of these teams are doing. Hello guys, what, what school are y'all from? Dory. Dory. What grade are y'all in? Sixth. Sixth. Sixth grade? Wow, that is young. Okay, what are y'all working on? Um, our proposal. What is y'all's project? Um, Sending a marshmallow into space. Yeah. yeah. Y'all are going to send a marshmallow into space. That's amazing. One of the things we know is that in the working environment today, people don't walk into conference rooms or get selected for teams based on how old they are. And yet so much of our traditional education system centers around how old someone is. And then we create these standards, which sometimes can be very empowering, but often can be very limiting for learners. So one of the things that started with the innovation challenge was this idea that you may be in third grade, but it might be most important appropriate for the problem you're trying to solve to be working with a sixth grader. Or you may be someone who's in 10th grade and it might be most important for you to be collaborating with someone who's in seventh grade who's on this particular track or has this particular passion and expertise. And so treating learners like uh, the way we want and know they will be treated in their working environments in the future has really helped to transform some of the stages and cages we've created that don't always serve all learners well. They're solving an authentic real world problem and they're getting to meet with STEM role models, whether it's hazmat people, police officers, medical people. And so I think this really reflects our greater mission of providing kids with an opportunity to impact their community and build their own confidence as seeing themselves as problem solvers. The way that students are able to connect with people from the real world, industry leaders, whether that was from Google or Microsoft or first responders and being able to get access to folks who are in the field every single day to test their ideas as part of the iteration that they were coming up with for their prototypes. That's how we really see innovation and the innovation challenge in particular, helping us bring reimagined learning and build community to life. People will say to us in our community, well, we wanna get involved in the schools or I've got expertise in this. And uh, at times we can struggle to find meaningful ways for them to engage with our learners. But Innovation Challenges makes those conversations, those opportunities for collaboration and partnership in learning, something that's very real and possible uh, for our students.
These kids are so smart and they brought so many things that I didn't even think of to the table and that they were even designing things that are way beyond my scope of knowledge and that they were like confident that they could build it. So, I mean, Klein ISD doing a great job at preparing these kids to go to the next level of education. I think one of the things that we saw with all of our industry partners and our community leaders who came to be part of our original innovation challenges and who now partner with classrooms across the district is how surprised they were at how insightful, how empathetic, how caring, and how innovative our learners are. My name is Andrew Mayberry, and I have autism. Making connections has helped mold me into a person of success. I am very lucky to have such a great support system to support me through my education journey. Thank you, and God bless you. Every time I walk into a room where students are, I think about all of the expertise and passion and interest that is within each of those unique human beings. What I love about Klein Talks is it was an opportunity to let some of that passion, let some of those things that excite our students to be showcased in a way that the entire community was learning together. So much fun to see our students, students in kindergarten, all the way through students who are about to graduate from Klein ISD, standing on a stage in front of hundreds of people and then having it live streamed out to an even broader audience and talking with such conviction and poise and enthusiasm about things that bring them joy. We had a couple of students who did an entire presentation on the world of Pokemon. I didn't know anything about Pokemon before that, but by God, by the end of it, I was really interested in Pokemon. One of the things we talk about in our profile of a learner is that we want our students to be curious. And so when you're creating a system where curiosity is not limited, but it's something that we, is encouraged, asking questions, learning about things that perhaps are not part of a traditional curriculum, but are things that you're really interested in, that you're passionate about. Klein Talks provided our students a way to really showcase those interests and to really connect their passion with many of the skills that we want to see each of our graduates have when they, when they leave our care. So things like being able to be a skillful communicator. I mean, when you have to stand on a stage in front of hundreds of people and in a short period of time, communicate the essence of your passion or the essence of your message, that's a skill that they can take with them wherever they go in fulfilling their purpose in life. And so now now, you know, as we're living through this pandemic and we continue to see the challenges, what we see is our young learners are not waiting for the district to come up with some sort of experience for them to be able to put these skills and these acts of service into the community. They are taking the initiative and they're leading the innovation challenges now. And you see that same outpouring of support being the hands and feet to serve and to help in the care. You now see that same kind of spirit happening with things like Pledge to Distance. You know, that campaign has gone not just to the Klein area, not just to the state of Texas, not even just the United States of America, but it is in dozens of countries across the world. Nobody had to tell those students to start that, but once you start to unleash the power of student voice and once you start to really build a culture of service and caring about the greater good, these are the kind of things that start to happen. From elementary school to middle school to high school, I've had so many great positive experiences and I'm just, it, I feel like I have to do something to give back to that community because I was brought up, I was raised, I, you know, I, Klein IC has influenced me as a student and as a person so much and I'm eternally grateful. That's what energizes us in Klein ISD is that we know that our learners have something to bring to the table every day. We know that they have ideas and solutions and they see the world with a very unique perspective that has a direct benefit to all of us who call one another community and home. I think it was just a great opportunity to use kind of the things I learned in class, but actually apply them to something real beyond just you know, problems on a test or, or whatnot. So it, for me, it was, it was an opportunity to, to take my knowledge to the next level and um, actually find a way to, um, to innovate. Innovation challenges were an event. They were something that happened with a single day of design that was kind of the culmination of students working through the various iterations of their design and their prototypes. But now what we see is that 
the spirit of innovation challenges is directly in the classroom. That students have, because of these experiences, teachers, because of these experiences, and community members, industry leaders, what they've seen is these are things that we can do every single day in the classroom. We can leverage technology to remove the boundaries of time and space so that our students have access to this kind of innovation and this kind of intellectual, complex, critical thinking challenges every single day. We talk about in our profile of a learner, making sure that our students understand that they must be unwaveringly committed to the greater good. That's what innovation challenges help to spark in our learners. That's what these opportunities to partner with people in our community help them to see that the future is actually very, very bright, that the young people we have in our schools today are thoughtful and bright, and they're growing in their ability to think critically, to analyze complex problems, and all of those things that these community members and industry leaders want in future employees, these are the kind of skills that we're developing through these challenges, whether it's collaboration, emotional intelligence, uh, complex problem solving, by creating these learning experiences and partnering them up with industry folks, that's one of the things that doesn't just benefit our students, but it really changes many people's perception of what's happening today in our schools and what our learners are able to bring to the table. The students are demonstrating um, a pride in our community, just wanting to change the world, and that's what I feel like my job as a teacher is to inspire them to do those things. As educators, we too are committed to design thinking. And so when we design these innovation challenges and these experiences for our students, we're starting with empathizing with our end user, our learners. And then from there, we're thinking about what improvements can be made. And so what we have seen in the evolution of the innovation challenge in Klein ISD and what will continue is this commitment to refining the process, to refining the experience, and most of all, leveraging student voice as we make these continuous improvements. There are so many problems to solve in our world today, and it is going to take innovative, strategic thinkers to solve these problems. And I am so proud of the way that I continue to see learners leveraging their expertise, their voice, and their genuine desire to make the world a better place through our innovation challenges, but even more so through the innovative culture that is developed in our classrooms in Klein ISD. I think about how it's wonderful to know people who are bright and smart, but what we really want are people who are going to be bright and smart and use that intellect and use that expertise to make the world a better place. And so getting to see our students contribute to the greater good, wow, that is something to be proud of.